nothing beats that first view uh, looking out the window as you're going up and then you see this little small space station and it's almost it doesn't look real as you're coming up to it uh, in the next year or so we're gonna have uh, commercial flights flying NASA astronauts and that's the first big step and it's never gonna become routine going to space is difficult but I think here in the near future we are gonna have more opportunities for people to fly in space We have over 150 different experiments that uh, we'll be conducting during our mission. You know, we've been launching people up to the space station. We've had a presence there now for over 15 years. Um, so while the space shuttle has retired, NASA's space program is still going strong. We launched with the Russians. I'm just getting back from a, you know, five and a half month mission launching with the Russians. And so on the space station, we have uh, U.S. crew members there every day uh, working hard, conducting science. So the program is really strong, and now we're moving more towards uh, launches back in the States. Second stay on board the International Space Station. Just behind him, NASA astronaut Joe Acaba making his third flight into space and his second time as a long-duration crew member on board the station. And bringing up the rear of the first timer, Mark Vandehei on his... It's kind of nice to see where you can work in a field that kind of rises above all the politics that's going on. And, you know, it's super important and they're, they're, they're great to work with. People, if they're afraid of heights, but, you know, you're an astronaut, I'm like, dude, I'm afraid of heights. <laughs> so, you know, if you look at the pictures, I'm holding onto the railing. So I, it, it does take a little bit of work while you're doing a spacewalk to realize, okay, it's okay, you are not going to fall. Soon to cross over Venezuela and back out over the Atlantic Ocean. And Randy Bresnik is about to open uh, the hatch uh, to the crew lock section of Quest. And Joe, I don't think you're going to believe this, but I think you just went over uh, beautiful Puerto Rico. Get out of here. There's a whole island of people looking up and smiling today as you get ready to head out the door. Somebody smiling in here. Good news for them. Good view of uh, Joe Acaba as he makes his way uh, near the Canadarm2 robotic arm to set up shop uh, for the setup of uh, the robotic arm with an articulating portable foot restraint uh, that will be uh, mounted on the arm that he will uh, be using as a work platform for the day. And there's our first helmet camera view from Joe Acaba's helmet camera. You see the ghost-like number of 17 in the lower right-hand corner. And a good view of uh, Joe Acaba uh, cleaning up uh, the setup of that portable foot restraint at the end of the Canadarm2 robotic arm. Living in space, it, uh, it has its unique challenges. Um, you know, you, you got to do all the things that you do here. It's just now you're in a different environment. Well, I think the ultimate goal is for us to get to Mars and beyond. But Mars has been this goal that's been out there for a while. We've been studying it with the rovers. Um, so it's time for us to get humans on Mars, but it's a logical first step to go back to the moon and While we've been there before it was very limited time frame and we have new technologies that we want to test um, Not even on the lunar surface, but just Orbiting the moon getting some kind of a gateway so that we can go to Mars from there and then any kind of habitats that we may have on Mars No better place to test them out than on the moon. So I think it's just a natural progression for us to get to Mars, 
is to utilize the, the lunar surface and the lunar orbit. It feels great. It's just like a homecoming of sorts. But we can see right away that some things have changed. But it's in uh, great condition. The crew looks great in good spirits, too. So we're happy to be here. So I, I can't <laughs> say that I have any inside scoop, but the plan that we're working for is getting to Mars in the 2030 time frame. And while for some people it may seem super far out, but it is, you know, it's not that far away. So I think it's a, it's a great goal to have, and that's what we're shooting for. Badge off though. All right, this one. You got Tony? Okay. Yes, ma'am. Carroll County Retirement Fund. 